Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. It's uh, it's it's me again, Mike, with Team Brothership. I promised you that I would be back after my Final Fantasy VI Let's Play wrapped up, and uh, and here I am. Today we are going to be starting a playthrough of Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. And I'm telling you right now, everywhere that I write that on the site or in thumbnails or on YouTube, it's just going to be Stubbs the Zombie because I don't have that much room. So anyway, um, this is a little bit different than some of, than the last two Let's Plays that I, I did. Uh, those were both games that I have played dozens of times and know inside and out. Uh, I have played Stubbs the Zombie before. I played it uh, back when it first came out on the Xbox, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, but that was the last time that I've I've played it, so a little bit of a distance. Um, but I was thrilled to hear that it it got a a re-release onto the um, modern consoles because it was one of those games that came out right near the end of the Xbox's lifespan, and I feel like got kind of unfairly overlooked, so I'm, I'm hoping this will be an opportunity for lots of new people to discover how much fun this is. Um, I, I had hesitated a little bit, so I, I spent a while, I know I had said at the end of the Final Fantasy Let's Play that I'd take a little bit of time to just collect myself because I was recording a lot of content, but I bounced around a little bit between a few different ideas for Let's Plays, and I, I was really excited about this one, but I hesitated a bit because... It, I remember there being a lot of licensed music in this game. I actually have the soundtrack. It, it's one of the first game soundtracks I bought because it's really, really good. Um, but I think maybe they took it out. Like, you know how sometimes when they re-release things, and mostly with like TV shows, uh, they sometimes lose the rights to the, the music. I wonder if that's what happened here, which is a bummer because it's great and it will kind of detract from the game, but for my purposes, it's fantastic because I'm not going to have to worry about us getting demonetized because of the uh, licensed music. So anyway, um, let's just uh, jump right in here then. Yeah, normal. I don't really remember the controls, so it's going to take me a little while. So I'll, um, I don't want to... Well, I'm going to cut all this out because it's a black screen. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> I'll let the cutscene speak for itself. Oh, yeah, it says it right there. Where one city has entered the 21st century 50 years ahead of schedule. Welcome to Punchbowl, a city built for the space age. Here in Punchbowl, experimental science and state-of-the-art technology create a futuristic paradise the likes of which have never been seen. This is a city unlike any other. Free of crime, pollution, poverty, and other urban blights. Menial labor is a thing of the past, thanks to all the robots who keep Punchbowl running like clockwork. People can't stop talking about it, and why should they? Punchbowl is a model of good old American ingenuity. Much of it developed by famed scientist <laughs> Dr. Herman <laughs> oh, Wine, oh now boy. a naturalized American citizen working for the good guys. But who's funding this fantastic... Some political commentary the there. Why, none other than billionaire playboy industrialist Andrew Mulvey, <coughs> For America's those of you who don't know, after World War II, uh, the United the States government just in took town. in a bunch of uh, Nazi scientists, scientists, scientists to help them the with various military say. projects. And uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was that. No repercussions for any of those people. So. Free of all unpleasantness. Why, Oops. The entire world will be like punch bowl, but for now it stands alone, a beacon of purity and human potential in a world of social upheaval and moral turpitude. Bold words from a bold man. Hmm. But perhaps bold. the only thing more unlikely than this orphan's rise to fame and fortune is the city he's built, where everyone is invited to drink their fill of the future, and no one has a care in the world. <laughs> Of my weenie. Good morning. Is everything okay? He stole my hot dog. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. Seeing Capital offense. Punch bowl, you'll have to give it back. <laughs> if you'd like something to eat, I can show you one of Punchbowl's many fine dining establishments. Yeah, go eat something else, jerk. Go on, get out of here. He stole my hot dog. Uh, okay, so let's get this party started. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my! Looks like he's 
having some kind of brain seizure. We'd better find some way of relieving the pressure in his head. <laughs> oh, poor Ted. So, oh, like that is just sick. Wow, um, you sure calm him down. He's not even twitching anymore. <laughs> I will have a lot. Oh, silly me. I, I will have a lot to say about this game. Here to provide any information you might need during your stay in our fair city. Well, first we get it. I can tell by the look on your face. Okay, I just had to invert my controls. Follow me. We've got so much to see. So yeah, I'm gonna have a. <laughs> I've got a lot to say about this game. Oh good lord! Lady, please be quiet. If you like, we can visit Punchbowl General Hospital and have that looked at. Oh, but there's so much to see first. Come along. Hold on a second. Uh. <laughs> well, that's the end of him. Um. There seems I just to be want to wait till, till the dialogue subsides. Never a dull moment in Punchbowl. Let's go have a look. Oh, that's the cops. Good morning, officers. Be quiet, guide bot. All oh, right, buddy. Clear Barney You're Fife reference. But officer, we just started the tour. The tour's over. We don't want a sick bum in an ugly tie walking around on opening day stinking up the place. Nor do we actually want to touch that guy. Ugh. Exactly. So <laughs> we're just going to stand here nice and quiet. And you are going to get in the back of the squad car. And we'll all be happy. Well, I won't be happy. We're waiting. <laughs> hap, hap, hap. Just, just turn our backs and... don't have any choice. I'm trusting you to do the right thing here, buddy. You bet. Hey, stop. Shout you better me. get a move on before we get... All right. It's Good to know. Hey! I got a wife and kids! My no. partner! Not anymore. Uh-oh. Yeah, this doesn't look good. I've got guns. We all know how zombies feel Please. about guns. You're surrounded. What is it? Oh, I see. You got gas. I'll just head over here for a minute while you uh relieve the pressure. <laughs> all right, buddy, you're going down. Hey, town. hands where I can see him. <laughs> Do 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 do. Do 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 So yeah, you'll you'll notice um, when you eat the brains of hate, and there's Ted. When you eat somebody's brains, they turn into a zombie. Um, oh, this guy didn't eat his brains. I just beat him to death with my fists. Um, yes. Oh. Out of the way, walk up behind one of them. Now give them a gentle shove in the right direction. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> now we can continue the tour. Oh, Ted. <laughs> Will you ever learn? So, yeah, I, I've have, I've got a lot to say about this game. Um, I actually really don't like zombie media, whether it be uh, games or film or anything. Um, I, I actually find them kind of upsetting. It's it's not that I'm sick of them like being overdone. I actually like they kind of bug me. So I I originally played this game uh, to actually try to challenge myself <laughs> to get over, over? First, a ridiculous. Still in uh, uh. With your steely gaze. Now purse those lips and whistle. Uh, guess. <laughs> well done. They're heading right over. <laughs> well, most of them. Well, what does that guy have? Oh yeah, he's got those fist things. Um, but I, I enjoyed this game so much that it actually uh, kind of helped me with my now, we still have a lot to see. ridiculous and I don't phobia. Want the collapsing of exhaustion before the tour ends. So if you feel tired or winded or in agonizing pain because someone just ran up and slugged you for no reason. <laughs> oh no. Ma'am. Feel free to take a few seconds to relax and recuperate. 
You'll feel much better after a few deep breaths. All right? Excellent! I'll be over by the gate when you're ready to tour the green. Um, yeah, this, this game also has regenerating health. Are there any more people around? I want to try to grow my horde a little bit. Yeah, no, let's just get going. There's a bunch of, like, secret things you can find. There are these little, like, developer commentaries that you can fish out of places. Um, but I'm probably not going to bother digging out most of those because it's not going to be very exciting for all of you to watch. Um, so I was quiet because I, I didn't want to interrupt the story segments. So you might be gathering. So this game, I, it's not a... You know, Where would all my zombies go? Are they behind me? No, they're all gone. Oh, here they are. Yeah, get over here, you. <laughs> um, it, this isn't exactly a real-time strategy game by any stretch of the imagination, but it is kind of a uh, maybe a little bit, little bit like your Pikmin or your Overlord, uh, managing small groups of. Um, Troops, zombie troops. Be safe, have fun, eat brains. You bet. Um, so yeah, this this game is basically a zombie apocalypse simulator from the zombies' perspectives. So we want to get as many of these people on our side as possible because, be what I think. Why, because they will, <laughs> they'll help us overcome the levels. Uh oh. Let this be a dream. A nope. No dream, my friends. Mm, got shot a couple times. So yeah, y y you're kind of just trying to create chaos. You get some more moves a little bit later that make you a little bit more efficient, but in one-on-one -on -one fights with the police, things tend to go pretty badly. Um, so, <laughs> you, uh, you, you kind of want to round up as many other characters to turn into zombies so that you can send them at the dudes with the guns. Because you were shooting me, you jerk. Alright, so we got our little... Got our little team. Whoa, what happened to that guy? Oh my. Oh boy. <laughs> what is going on with this? Oh, that person is not doing so well. Alright, whoa. Somebody's shooting. Alright, yeah. Go deal with those cops. Oh no. They killed one of our team. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Ooh, time to get behind the horde. Whoa. Yeah, all of you go deal with, go deal with them. Oops. Nope. <laughs> um. So yeah, so we've got our little zombie horde here, and I guess we're gonna just keep following the road. Wasn't paying attention to what that lady said about where we want to go. Uh, I don't really want to be way out in front in case people start shooting again, though. Oh, there we go. I see the waypoint. So, if, for those of you who don't know, this game was actually made... It was made by a studio called Wide Load. It came out right at the very end. <laughs> oh, God. That fellow does not look like he's going to be very efficient. With no arms. Uh, it was made by a studio called Wide Load. Oh, cutscene. All right, all of you go and, and deal with, with that. Go, go deal with those cops. I don't want to get shot in the face. Yeah, everybody get over here. Go, go deal with the police. Especially you. <laughs> You're literally just cannon fodder. Go. Go. Ah. Uh, Whoa. Need to make a quick getaway? 
The punch ball monorail is the best way to get around the city. Why, yes, yes, I do need to flee the police who are shooting at me. <laughs> Gotta love that screaming. So yeah, so this was made by Wide Load Studios, <coughs> who are were made up of actually ex Bungie employees. Whoa! Kitten attack. Looking good for them. So it was made by Wide Load Studios, who's made up of uh, who's made up of ex Bungie employees, actually. So the basically the way things played out was. Oh. <laughs> There's our thumbnail. I should save this for a few weeks for Valentine's Day. Is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? Uh, no. Uh, cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... What? <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. <laughs> You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this... Uh, Wonderful. Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. Let <laughs> <laughs> her come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness. Uh oh. If I had a nickel for every time a barbershop quartet guy carried off the woman of my dreams. Uh, whoop, time to go. All right. Um, so actually, this is a good segue. This is actually, uh, so it was made by ex-Bungie employees, including one of the Bungie's founders. Uh, and it was, Basically, they left the company right after the original Halo was released. So this game is like a direct follow-up of, uh, of Halo. And it's actually using the Halo engine, which you definitely feel in this level. As you're driving around this thing that is basically a hover warthog. There's a lot of screaming in this game, which, I mean, I can appreciate. Everybody dead? Looks that way. I have no zombies, though, because I killed them all with guns. It's a very anti-gun... What the hell? Oh, he's shooting at me. No. No, I don't think you will, sir. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. I should probably get out and eat some of these guys, and then they'll, uh... I they can get the zombies to jump in the other car with me. Whoops. Get, get shot at. I'm not really sure what this thing is firing. Tar? Stun bullets or something? Oh well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, when I, <clears throat> when I tell people about... when I Well, when I used to tell people about that, that this was like basically the follow-up to Halo, it kind of blew people's minds. Um, I'm not a big fan of this... Halo series? Eh, is this where I need to go? I never remember. Nope. Oh, it's sod. That makes sense. They're kind of terraforming. So y you may be gathering as well that this game uh, has a very... It, it almost feels a bit like, like it's set in the Fallout universe, because you have that... that kind of 1950s style. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> this guy's got some pretty big airtime there. Because uh, it, it is set during this sort of 1950s sci-fi world. 
And it has similar kind of black... Com ah, here we go. It's got a similar kind of black comic sensibility to it. It's not quite as... Di I mean, Fallout has a... a bit of a nihilist streak in it. I would actually say that this game has a, a bit more optimism about the world, even though you are... What the hell? Even though you are essentially murdering an entire city. So I think what I liked about this game, compared to other zombie media, uh, is, is exactly that, that it's not nihilistic, it's not... Um, there's something that I, I don't tend to like about zombie media because of the emphasis on, like, oh, who are the survivors? And they gotta rebuild society and everything's terrible and you gotta survive. Oh, now I'm turned around again. Maybe I can find the, um... Maybe they'll give me a waypoint if I just wander long enough that they'll feel bad for me. Anyway, uh, there's a sort of, like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? a kind of hyper-individualism that I feel like you get in a lot of zombie media, where it's like, you against the world, you gotta survive, and everybody else is out to get you. This game, to me, almost kind of feels like, um... almost like you're rallying a political movement, <laughs> which I know may sound a little strange, since you're... Oh, do I have to kill everybody? Is it just because this guy's left? Oh, I guess I missed this area. Well, you're definitely supposed to leave this vehicle behind, but uh, joke's on you. I am really good at breaking the halo and... Oh, damn it. Well, I'm not going to be able to break that. Well, I guess this isn't where I need to go. Back in the day... Um, my brother and I... Oh, okay, they're taking pity on me and they're going to just give me a waypoint. My brother and I... Paul Paul and I, I should say. You all know him. Uh, Paul and I, or some of my college friends... I think this was before I really spent much time with John. Um, would spend a lot of time trying to like cram the Halo vehicles into like elevators and to try and get them through parts of the level that you weren't supposed to be able to go through. We were often pretty successful with that. We got some warthogs and some elevators. We got some of those Covenant bikes through little tiny gaps in doorways. Okay, well, it's right there. So is it here, then? Is here where we're supposed to go? That, oh, all right. All right, we need some more zombies quick before we all get murdered by cops. There we go. <laughs> That's right, your brain. <laughs> I I do like uh, the the kind of Barney Fife reference. All right, can I do this without the guys? Maybe not. Look, there's one. I'll show you a four. <laughs> um, but it, 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 so what I was saying earlier about, poly, uh, like a political, ooh. Oh, did I, did I, I tore his arm off. He ran off without a head, which he seems like he might have needed that. Uh, there's a wimpy scientist there. Oops. Alright, is there anybody left? Nope. Everybody's a zombie. As it should be. Um, so yeah, this is another one of those... Oh, I guess I did move that bridge. This is another one of those things that kind of takes a uh, critical eye to the idyllic 1950s Americana. Uh, what did I actually do with this? I bet I opened another door. All right, let's go back to our vehicle. Come on, gang. Let's go. Hmm? 
I do like like the pathfinding and the AI for the zombies in this game is really bad, but that's kind of the point I think. Like it, <laughs> it allowed them to do want to make a bug out of a feature. I mean, a feature out of a bug. Because I mean, they're they're zombies. They're super dumb. Hey, it's the scientist. He made it first, which makes sense. He's the smartest. Would his brain be the most delicious then, since it's probably the the most developed? All right, get in there, buddy. Yeah, I think we can fit two more in the back, but I don't know. Mm, he doesn't seem to be getting in, so I guess not. All right, well, now I gotta drive around again to find that door that I think I opened. Yeah, very, <laughs> very Halo in that everything kind of looks the same. Oop, that looks like another one of those vehicles. Get the other. You get tossed out? Yeah. So I think of you. Can we go through the store? Alright. Hopefully this is where I'm supposed to go. Hey, where'd my buddy go? And I guess he's staying there. Fine. Um But yeah, I mean you're you're murdering people, you're eating brains, but Everybody that you're killing, they're all kind of terrible, selfish, self-involved people. So you don't have to feel that bad, I, I guess. I don't know, maybe that says something about... Oops. Maybe that says something about me. Uh-oh. Oh, he saw me. Uh, don't worry, there's no like stealth or anything in this game. I just want to try to sneak up on this one guy if I can. <laughs> there we go. A mind is a terrible. It's chewing my brain. A zombie. Sit down. Go, 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 go. All right. I mean, under normal circumstances, this would be pretty horrific. But like I said, these people are all pretty wretched. There we go. Now, what happened to your head, man? Gotta be careful with those. Why, hello there! Hey. It's me, Guidebot. Remember me from the I plaza? sure do. Are you sure that hole in your side doesn't bother you? Because it bothers me. <laughs> I can see all those internal organs slurping around in there. <laughs> oh, nice. So this is a uh, this is a grenade. Ooh. Um, yeah, those are your basically your halo grenades. Left trigger. Why did that not blow up? I mean, because you were shooting at me, dude. <laughs> Did somebody just say, I have no ethics? Yeah. Yeah. They killed one. Uh-oh. Use him as a shield. Use him as a literal human shield. But I think that's the way that you kind of get around feeling terrible about <laughs> murdering people, is that they're they're all pretty awful, and what they're trying to accomplish is objectively bad. Oops! Oh, he actually hit me. I'll leave him to the other zombies. Oh! 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 No. Leave him to his fate. <laughs> All right, team, let's go. So yes, I did tear off that man's arm and then use it to club another man to death. But you know, 
That's war. That's how these things go. And going back to our Fallout references, war never changes. Uh, except when it does and they stop paying Ron Perlman to do the audio commentary on things. Yeah, getting a very Halo feel here again. <laughs> Oops. Oops, are they chasing my other guys? That was silly. Oops. Oop. <laughs> oh, he's not going to like that. I stuck it right to him. It's taking a long time to blow. Yeah, that took out some of my zombies, too. Ooh. Alright, gotta hold back a little bit. Whoa! Regain some health, let my team do the fighting. <laughs> oh, come on, health. There we go. You generally want to do the head, the brain eating too, because it, it refills your um, your weapons and stuff. Those guys got stun guns. You you all deal with them. Somebody call a doctor. All right. All right, team, get in there. Go for it. You got this one. I believe in you. Oh, jeez. It's one cop. There we go. Whoa. Use the tunnel there. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. He's got it. Yeah, they're basically cannon fodder, and you just... Oh, no. Oh, my best friend. Alright, come on, team. Ah, more tunnels. look like cops. No, no, I guess not. Those are zombies. <laughs> the um it doesn't come out till later, but the barbershop quartets guys are basically like the commandos of this game. Oops, where was he? No, all my zombies are gone. Can I look out here, is there anything? No, they can't hit me through the glass. This is future Imperv uh, impervious. Whoa. I'll show you what for. Uh, this isn't funny. Nope. It's not. I'll show you what for. Oh, this isn't per funny. Yay. We got an extra grenade for that one. The grenades take a lot longer to blow than I remember them. They're not quite as... That's not quite as useful that way. No. <laughs> I'm going to hide in the bushes while that goes off. Sit down. Stop hitting me! Refute this! No! There's something inside my brain! <laughs> All right, new team members, go deal with that. So yeah, you can get taken out pretty quickly by just dudes with guns. So you, you gotta really uh, try to use your abilities correctly. Ooh. Yeah, those stun gun guys are bad. They'll really just do a number on you. 
<laughs> Alright, I think that was all of them. Okay, team. Let's go. Yeah, the barbershop quartet guys, to go back to that a little bit, are basically like the, the commandos of this world, which... Eh, that makes sense, right? Barbershop quartets. They seem pretty, uh... Pretty rough and tumble. Uh oh. <laughs> Every cop in this town sounds like Barney Fife. Alright, everybody get in the get in those tunnels. Go get those other cops. I know they're in there. Yep. There's one of those I no. No. Why didn't he run behind the cop? Spit that out, damn it. I'll show you what for. Uh, hey, well, stop oh, the choking me. What? Uh oh. Ooh, I'll back off a little bit. Get out of the way, zombie. Yeah, there you go. You deal with him too. Go. It's even better when the SWAT guys show up. Yeah. Should probably, should probably be help. Whoa. Stop eating me. You can just, like, kill them, too, because I know I'm taking some damage. Uh, taking some damage. You do get health back, though, from eating brains. Uh, yeah, this was, this was one of the earlier games to copy the Halo uh, regenerating health trend. But it makes sense with a zombie. I mean, they've, they've got some kind of healing capacity, I would assume. Uh, this place looks like it might be full of civilians. He's kind of uh he's kind of charmingly adorable for a The Dead Walk. <laughs> oh mighty voices in my head, I'll never doubt you again. The commies have infiltrated this country so completely that even the dead have turned against us. Well the Quaker State Irregulars ain't go without a fight. <laughs> I totally forgot about this level. Yeah, I think we're in a mall right now. Guess this is the level transition. Go, it's the fuzz. Good morning, officers. Good morning, pump up. Killer up. Yeah, but make it snappy. We're in the middle of a zombie holocaust. Okie dokie, one tank of extra lighted coming right up. I'm not sure I have enough cash to cover Oh, it. never you mind, sir. It's on the house. Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, it's my pleasure, officers. <laughs> my pleasure. Oh, God. I did definitely forgot about this. Hey, want me to look under the hood? No! I need to use the restroom. Oh, it's uh, around the back. Yeah, go ahead. I'll try to keep from eloping with the car. <laughs> Boy, you know, it's a good thing you stopped by, officer. There's been a bit of lawlessness this afternoon. Tell me about it. Strangest thing. This gentleman, a very ill one by the look of it. Wait a minute. Green skin, festering wound in his guts, ugly tie. I'm never going to get used to seeing that. 
Huh. Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> I think we're heading into the mall then. Because I know the mall is where you fight all the, the hillbilly people. What's that? Oh. I guess not. Going after the cops first. If they're just opening this city today, how do they have all these criminals on hand? Don't be stupid. I think that guy has a gun. Alright. Come on, get over here, everybody. Yeah, go go deal with them. his friend. Oh, I can't drink this coffee because there's a hole in my guts. Alright, team, let's go. Where are all those other... Come on, slow pokes. Alright. Off we go. Yeah, the uh, violently humping <laughs> car is a little bit, um, a little bit dubious. Looking good. Who else we got? Anybody hiding in the bathrooms? Ooh, we killed him. Ooh. Not really sure if there's any... Easy way to uh give you an excuse to slack off on your calisthenics. A healthy cop mm. is a happy cop. There we go. I'm happy. Are you happy? And if you're not, why not? Get I don't think there's an easy way to avoid those uh those stun guns, because they'll really take a chunk out of you. Now you're a zombie with a wife and kids. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I killed one of my own. I'm sorry, zombie. You got in the way. There's friendly fire in this game. I'm hoping we can get through this level today because there's a there's a boss fight at the end of the police station that's pretty amazing. Ooh, let me see if I can sneak up on this guy. Ooh, maybe not. Yikes! Ah, stun gun. Stop Where'd the rest of my zombies go? They keep wandering away. Yeah, come on. One of the prisoners is still around. Get in there. Start mixing it up. <laughs> That's where the look. Oh, you looked the wrong way, though. Alright. Off we go. Oh, the gas bomb is full. I can use that again. Well, let's see if we can surprise this gentleman. Or not. He's probably going to see all these zombies. Oh, get out of the way. Who 
the other way. Smart on him, but. Holy crap! I'll show you. Stop hitting me! I see one of them. He just. This is a cheat. Oh. Cold red situation. There is a zombie in the police station. Repeat, zombie in the police station. I'd like to encourage you all to shoot first and ask no questions whatsoever. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh. Oh, my brain. Like I said, there there's a lot of um, <laughs> somewhat heavy-handed social commentary in this game. All right, get out there, all of you. Start fighting those hordes of police. All right, I think now is probably oops, the time to use that gas bomb. Although. It's not like you were using it. Whoa, whoa. All right. Why aren't they attacking them? Oh, well. They're zombies. What what can you expect? They do the best they can. Oh, no. The plainclothes cop. Looks like they're still having some issues over here, maybe? No, no. They took care of everything. God, these zombies are so reliable. Let me give you a hand. Oh, didn't see that one coming. I think there was a cop over there. That one's dead. I still hear gunshots, though. There's somebody still standing around here. With all these zombie cops, it's a little hard to tell who the real cops are. It's more social commentary on that one, I think. All right, looks like the real cops are coming from that way. It's easy for me to this one. That should handle a few of them. <laughs> so much screaming and munching. Did that go off? Whoa! Yowza. Hopefully you didn't need that head. What a mess. Alright, off we go. Ugh. That looks bad. <laughs> well, now we're strapped to a table. No oh, stubs. How do you keep getting into these situations? Listen up, you brain-eating cretin. Your little cannibal joyride is over. Says My you. My men are cleaning the rest of the zombie filth off the streets. And as for you... I'm gonna fix your wagon personally. Dr. Y is on his way over right now, but I'll be dancing on your grave long before he arrives. I wonder if there'll be anything left for him to dissect. We can't let those thugs destroy such a fascinating and potentially useful specimen. Not too early, old chap. We'll do it ourselves. <laughs> I thought you had it. Here's where you learn your next move. One of the more useful ones in the game. It's a, uh, it's like Adam's family, the thing. You can crawl around, and we want to... A severed hand? Excuse me, I need some help over here! Oh, I thought I could attack like this. Alright, well, we'll go... Get away from Let's me, All right, I'm guessing we just have to let Stubbs out then. I thought I, had, I thought I had to attack these guys. Oh. Oops. I guess I died. All right. 
We better do this a little bit quieter then. Not my brain, old chum. Not today. It's attaching itself to his noggin. It's working for the undead. Right, how do I let him out then? That's what I need to do. Careful, you're shooting around a lot of propane containers. I think I know where it went. Hop <laughs> Oops. Well, maybe I just need to turn the thing off then. Can I do that? Maybe I gotta go through one of the uh, grates. Oh, there we go. Okay. I know what I need to do. I need to get one of those cops. Kitten playfully prodding at me. So what the, the way the the way the hand works is you can actually possess other enemies. So you know you you could probably tell Stubbs he's a zombie he can't use guns or weapons or things like that. But uh, this guy's gonna be useless. Ooh, I'm all turned around now. We need somebody with some firearms on them. Let's see. Probably going the wrong way. So I'm all upside down and turned around. <laughs> if I end up really backtracking, I'll just crop all this out. Got a cop. Oops. That's no ordinary citizen. Ow. There we go. Dealt with that guy. Is there a reload button? I guess not. I don't think your health regenerates as a, uh... Die, die, die. Mm, not where I need to be. I don't think your health regenerates as a, uh... Captured civilian. No, I don't think so. Alright, well we gotta go next door, which is gonna be a little bit tricky if they know we're here and they're shooting at us already. Like a chicken. Oh, damn it. He can't control you anymore. I'm gonna have to crop all this out. Let's try this again. Feeling like Paul playing blasphemous right about now. So we gotta find a way to release stubs. I ain't with this guy. The cat's chewing on my headphone, so I think our I think our session may be about to wrap up. I think I'm upside down again.
Normally I'm not a huge proponent of uh, needing waypoints for things, but... Alright, well, it's the same cop again. Whoa! Okie dokie. <sighs> well, now we're back to normal shooting. You can be a little liberal with the, uh, the firearms, since you've got infinite ammo. Oops. Don't want to take too many hits, because like I said, you don't, re you don't regenerate as a, uh, as a captured human. like we're going the right way. Hopefully there's not too many dudes with guns in here. Whoa. That's the end of that one. long hallways. <laughs> I love the little like plinky piano music while you're just murdering a whole room full of people. Thankfully, their aim is terrible. Oh, is that what I'm looking for? Thank you. I'm just going to reload my gun that way. I don't know if there's an actual reload button, so we'll just make sure we... You smell funny. Ow! Oh, Lord! It's, it's just like Mama dead. told me. <laughs> Ah! Alright, that guy's down. Another long, unobstructed hallway without a lot of cover to duck behind. Feeling good about this one. <laughs> left. <laughs> well, here we go. Freeing the zombie. Run. There's your reward. Eaten alive. All right, well, we've been going for about an hour now, so um, I am going to call it a day with this. <laughs> we'll, we'll blast our way out of the police station next time. As a bit of a... <laughs> oh, punched me. Yeah, all right, we've been going for about an hour. We're making good headway, so... 
we'll uh, we'll jump back in with this next week. I hope you've been having fun with this. I know this is pretty different from Castlevania and from Final Fantasy, but it's also a game that I, I have a lot of affection for. So thanks for joining me for this. Uh, as always, I've been Mike, and I will see you next week. Have a great day.